Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise. In my case, I'm going to install Visual Studio 2015 Enterprise with Update 3. It really doesn't matter what version of Visual Studio 2015 you're installing. The installation is pretty much the same and pretty straightforward. As far as the prerequisites of Visual Studio 2015 goes, if you're a machine or client machine, wherever you're installing Visual Studio 2015, uh, connected with the internet, it'll automatically download and install it for you. After the installation is completed, since this is part of TFS 2015 tutorial, we'll use the Visual Studio, we'll launch Visual Studio and uh, connect with our existing Team Foundation uh, 2015. Let's go ahead and start the installation. Uh, I already downloaded the exe file. Right here is my Visual Studio 2015 with update 3 exe file. I'm going to right click and run as administrator. We have a couple of choices right here. Um, first, that if you want to install Visual Studio on some other drive or you have a different path in your mind, you can click right here and uh, choose your installation location path. This is the binaries of Visual Studio. And other is the installation type. There are a couple ways that you can install Visual Studio. One is default. It'll install everything, basically all the features of Visual Studio. But uh, sometimes you don't require all the, all the components that uh, Visual Studio has. For example, if you're in a DBA team and you, all you do is use Visual Studio to promote to production uh, reporting uh, services, then you probably don't need all the features of Visual Studio. Uh, and you can click on custom and go and choose the um, components of Visual Studio that you would like to install. But in this uh, tutorial, we'll keep the default and we'll keep the default installation location as well. All you need to do is just click install installation will start in my case it'll take probably about 15 to 20 minutes it depend on your uh, machine how powerful your machine is um, and uh, it's gonna take probably 20 minutes for me I'll pause the video once installation is completed I'll be back and we will uh, use Visual Studio to connect to Team Foundation Server 2015 All right, the installation of Visual Studio 2015 is completed successfully and I have already launched Visual Studio 2015 right here. In order to connect to Team Foundation Server, you need to have permission uh, on Team Foundation Server to be able to connect from Visual Studio. Um, if you have permission, uh, you need to click on Team Foundation Server, click on Manage Connections. This will open up Team Explorer Connect right here. There are a couple of ways that you could do it. If you're first time connecting with your Team Foundation server, you will have uh, this message pop up right here that you can click on Manage Connection or you can click right here, Manage Connection button. So I'm gonna click on Manage Connection and connect to Team, Found uh, team Project. Click on server. Right now we don't have any Team Foundation server in our Team Project collections right here. If you Click on select team foundation server, nothing is appearing. Let's configure this. Click on servers and click on add. This is where you need, uh, uh, you can give the complete URL of your team foundation server or you can just give the host name right here and it'll complete the URL using path and the port number. Keep in mind that if you have different port number than 8080, then you need to provide that port number right here in order for um, us to successfully connect with Team Foundation Server. So in my case, TBS TFS is the host. As you can see in preview right here, it has already completed the URL for me, uh, HTTP TBS TFS uh, 8080. And here is my Team Foundation Server. I opened up the Team Foundation Server Administration Console, and this is right here, the web access URL. This is what we need. As you can see, if we go back in Visual Studio, it has completed the same URL right here in preview. Click OK. 
and click close you can see that uh, name is TBS TFS and uh, URL is right here click close and TBS TFS in my case has team project collection this is just the default collection if you have permission if you have multiple uh, pro uh, project collections and you have uh, permission on just specific project collection that's the only uh, project collections will appear right here in my case i don't have a team projects right now in this collection but uh, next videos are all about that creating team projects and different other stuff about uh, uh, tfs uh, 2015 but uh, anyway uh, this is how you connect to team foundation server using visual studio 2015 click connect and as you can see under the projects right here, you can see pending changes, uh, source control explorer setting. If you would have the uh, team project, then it would appear right here. So I hope this helps.